had a hard morning, haven't you? Getting up, having breakfast, and going back to bed. It's a hard life being a pug, isn't it? Good morning, guys. Good morning. How you doing? Hope you're having a lovely day. I'm back in Brighton. I'm back at home. Well, I'm actually not at home. I'm in the office. Which no one has been in this office for maybe like a week now. Maybe a little bit more than a week. Which means that I need to need to water all of my plants. This is the bad thing about having plants. I mean, they look awesome, and I love them, but I'm just so bad at remembering to water them. I don't know how much to water each one. I'm just like chucking water at it. I'll give you a little bit as well. So I just don't know what too much is when it starts coming out the bottom. You need a big drink. Give me one second guys, I'm just gonna walk around and water my plants for a minute. All the plants are looking great, except from the um, the sunflowers don't look, don't look too happy. How are you doing though guys? How are you doing? I feel like the last week has just been just insane. Like I know I've been saying it a lot, but the pop-up shop has honestly taken so much time out of every single day for the past like month I suppose because obviously the shop opened a week ago but prior to that was all the planning and making sure that the shop was going to be good and I'm just so bloody glad that the shop is amazing and that so many of you have turned up and are loving the merch and are loving the shop itself and are loving just the atmosphere and being involved it's just such like a this thing that we're doing right now this this way in which we're hanging out we're interacting filming these these little videos right now I'm just I'm just sitting here I'm just a normal person sitting here in my office but talking to a camera, like this is a camera, this isn't a person, however, you are a person watching this. And the fact that we can, we can make this digital video thing that I do into a way in which not only I can interact with you guys, and obviously you can interact with Zoe and Joe as well because it's Sug Life and PB collaboration, but it is so much more than that. It's a way in which you guys can meet up and meet other like-minded like people in the queues, in the shop, on social, tweeting with a hashtag and stuff like the amount of friendships that have been made because of this collaboration is mind blowing. I have honestly seen so many of you making friends in the queue and chatting and hanging out and going for lunch together and stuff and the amount of mums and parents that are meeting other parents and obviously this thing, this YouTube thing isn't, I mean it's super popular for the ages of people between like 10 and 35, 40 years old but there aren't too many people that watch my videos that are over 50, just say. So it's amazing for parents. And honestly, I'm seeing this. Like when I'm chatting to your parents, when I'm like meeting you guys and I'm seeing the queue and stuff, the amount of parents that have met other parents that can talk about the weird thing that their kids likes, which, which is watching my videos. I don't know. That's just cool as well. It's all just been so bloody exciting. But anyways, today I'm back in Brighton. Wait, right, if I'm back in Brighton, there is one thing. Let me don't forget my key. I can't lock myself out. There's one thing that I need to do. A morning backflip. I get asked so much. Whenever I meet you guys in the street, that is the one thing that people ask me is, have you done your morning backflip today? I didn't realize that this morning backflip joke little thing that I do would be taken so seriously. Someone has been putting some like, someone has been putting some like manure or some kind of poo on their land around our house. I've never smelt something like this in my life. Just finished Edison and uploading the vlog. Honestly, never smelled something like that in my life. People must be putting like some kind of manure on their on their gardens, on their land around our house because guys, that smells like the worst poo ever. So the other day in my vlog, everyone, and literally everyone, you watching this, rinsed me for using, for using masking, no, not masking tape, what one is it, duct tape. Duck, I think, is it duct tape? I don't know, using some kind of tape to like, get the fluff off my jeans and everyone rinsed me saying I need one of these. So Zoe bought me one of these. So now I can finally do this instead. Don't get me wrong, I've had one of these before and they're amazing. I just didn't have one the other day. Jumping in the old Audi. 
and heading into town. Guys, today, today I feel like I'm about to say a word that doesn't fully describe how I'm feeling, so I don't, it, it's got a connotation of being a bad thing. Today I feel a little bit emotional. Not in a sad way, like I don't feel sad. I think it's just because I've just been listening to loads of like really chilled, nice music whilst editing the vlog and stuff. Today's one of the days where I've like sat back, I've had to think about everything that's going on, about the shop, about the position I'm in, about the new house, about, I don't know guys, just like a, a realization today of how bloody lucky I am and it's insane. Oh, and now I knocked the camera off just as I'm saying that. <laughs> Anyways, I'm heading into town because tomorrow, tomorrow is my dad's birthday. And it was only the other day that we were celebrating my dad finishing work, like retiring. So we got him like a really nice retirement present. So there isn't so much pressure on like getting him a good birthday present. I feel like we smashed it with the retirement present. But obviously I need to head into town and I haven't had a chance recently to like get him a card and stuff like that. So I'm popping into town now. I'm going to go get my card, try and get him a present. I do also, I do know what I want to give him for his present from Zoe and I. I don't know whether to tell you in this vlog or whether this vlog's gonna go up slightly before we give it to her. I feel like, no, I'll tell you. So my dad doesn't drive. My dad hasn't driven since he was 19. Like, he does have a license, but he, haven't, he hasn't driven since he was 19. No particular reason why. He's never ever had, like, some particular bad experience that scared him. He just doesn't drive. But, but now being retired and having the time, because the, his previous job, he used to commute to London every day. He set his alarm for 4.50 every morning and get home at, like, 7.30, 8pm. So he worked super long hours. A lot of, like, four, four or five hours on the train every single day, commuting. Just never really had the time to learn to drive again. So... I want to get him, or not I want to, I'm going to with Zoe, like maybe like six refresher driving lessons so that he can learn to drive again, which would be nice for him. So that's the present, but obviously that's not anything physical and it's not always, it's always nice to give somebody a card and something physical for their birthday. So I'm just going to pop into town now and, um, and, just, and just see what there is. See what there is, pick up some little bits, maybe a new pair of gym shoes or something or some gym shorts or I, I don't know. I don't know. We'll see. Right, so I managed to find good presents, a good card. I'm literally going for dinner in about an hour, but I'm so hungry. I need to get some sushi quickly. Hey, how's it going? When I'm older, I'm gonna be that parent that has my kid on like one of those harness lead kind of things. I just saw a little girl now walk out into the road and her mum grabbed her and she was like, I'm sorry, mum. She literally just ran out. So scary, so blooming scary. I've got such a bad headache from wearing a hat all day. But like, you know when your head just like feels like someone's just been squi- Maybe it's just me wearing my hat too tight. <laughs> Basically my head feels like it's got pressure inside it from wearing a hat. A couple of months ago I used to wear a hat like all day, every day and I never used to get this. Anyways, successful time in town. I bought my dad, let me show you. Let me do a little, little birthday haul. I bought my dad some socks, gym socks some really cool gym shorts. They look like a really nice material. They're like not thin, but they're not thick. They're like, I don't know. Great description, Alfie. Not thin, but not thick. And then I also got him a new SIM card for his phone because obviously, as you know, as I've been telling you, my dad's just retired from work and his phone that he has has always been a work phone. Like he just has one phone. So now he no longer has a phone and i was in town and i know he hasn't got a phone and he's not gonna have one done by tomorrow so i just thought you know what get him a new sim card get him a new contract get him a number because he's got a physical mobile but he doesn't have a, a sim card so i just got him a sim card so that he can put it in his phone and he's got data around europe and stuff like that in case he goes on holiday and things and 20 gigabytes of internet a month i don't know i got him i got him a good good contract deal i also bought myself as you just saw some sushi which probably a little bit stupid because what I'm about to do right now is drive to the marina and meet Marcus and Stephanie and Zoe's driving over from our house as well and we're all gonna I think we're gonna I think we're gonna play like glow-in-the-dark dinosaur I've been before in the vlogs crazy golf so it's like putting crazy golf Marcus is the most competitive person ever so it'll be interesting playing with him and um, and, and it's gonna and it's gonna be sick and then we're gonna go for dinner Although I'm kind of eating now because actually, you know, I have a breakfast and lunch 
There's not any excuse, it's just sushi and I like that. Yeah, that's what I'm about to do. Mm. They look good. I just picked these up from um, the pop-up store in Colorado. Ah, <laughs> <laughs> oh, thank you. No Thanks so much. Here he is. Oh, the YouTube leaderboard. YouTube leaderboard. <laughs> Look at him with his clipboard around his neck. <laughs> oh my god, it glows as well. <laughs> oh my gosh. Apparently I'm up first. There we go. Oh! I wish I recorded Marcus going, well, you can basically hit it anywhere. Yeah. That's good. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yes. Yeah, that's not bad. You've got a good shot now. I'm yellow, Zoe's pink, Steffi's green, and Marcus is orange. Oh, Marcus going with his old branding with the orange. <laughs> <laughs> He went for golf lessons this morning. <laughs> Steffi's up. Just don't hit the wall here. Look how serious Marcus is. Look at him. <laughs> oh yeah. I think you wanna you wanna hit here. Straight through there. You've got that. Oh no! Here we go, hold it one coming out. Oh, oh my god, Alfie! It went in and then it came out. Oh, that counts as one then. No. Oh my god, your teeth! They're so bright! You got this. Oh, oh you haven't. Sorry. <laughs> so the hole on this one is just the top of the blue bit. Well, that's the hole. But if you hit it too hard, it'll go down this side. Too gently, it'll come back down. Yeah, I got that. Go on then. <laughs> this is the hardest hole there is here. Yeah. You're going to get really lucky now. Steffi thinks it's hole in one. Oh! Oh my gosh! Both Zoe and I just got a hole in one. No pressure, guys. Come on! Marcus, the pressure. Three hole in ones. Marcus, Marcus. <laughs> He's going to be so annoyed if he doesn't get this. <laughs> I've, I've warned my camera, I said how competitive he is. Oh, go on. No, wait, wait, wait. Oh. Oi. This is the last hole, you either get one point or six points. Once we get six points, you're in it. It's impressive. Six points. Oh. In case you're wondering how the point system works, six points is bad. <laughs> it's not good. Oh, he gets another go. Oh, that was so close. Oh my god, that was so close. It's going to bring it back. So we all got six? Uh, not just yet. <laughs> Potentially a one. Oh, oh he's done it. Oh, he's done no! It. He's done it. Well, you that, did it, that, well done. That could be the game changer. I reckon Alfie's done it. 
just from that last hole. Eight, 14, 36, 42. <gasps> 42 and he's so annoyed. He's so annoyed. It's that last one. <laughs> the top score is by an eight year old. Guys, we all just got beaten by an eight year old. So my car's making a weird noise. Marcus is coming to fix it. Oh, I think that doesn't help. I mean, at least you've got covering your family. Oh, that would probably help if I got rid of some of these leaves. Maybe we'll just leave it for a bit and come back out. And then it'll be up in flames. <laughs> Do you think? It's just weird. The cars switch off. What I don't like is... It's like the fan in the system. Please. Hey, you called earlier, right? What's your name? All right, is there anything else? I have to go. Monica. <laughs> <laughs> We're watching a horror Monica? movie called Last Shift. Oh, no, 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 I'm sorry. It's going to be your last so vlog shift. <laughs> but you're walking home. Marcus doesn't have a car. And they've got, okay, like, so how long do you reckon the walk is? Three hours? Four. Ten miles. Oh. Yeah, I have fun, bro. After watching this, pitch black. Marcus is about to himself. She is. I just did. You pooed yourself? Yeah. They're too scared to come and watch this. They're leaving. Are you scared, bro? No, mate. Are you scared? I'm gonna go. Scared to get that taxi home. Hunt some people. Yo, we were just watching the creepiest horror film. Zoe? Zoe? Why are you trying to scare me? Why are you trying to scare me? Oh my god! I thought you were that way. Blimmin' hair. No, none of this. That that film's like mess. Let's not watch. Let's not watch the rest of it. Look at Nala. Can you put something else she on? looked. Let me cuddle her. No. Nala, come and cuddle Daddy. Oh, Nala, cuddle me. Come and cuddle Daddy. Doesn't want to cuddle either. Let's put something on now. Let's put something nice on. on now. If you like messed up horror films, that's called the last. No, not the. Just called Last Shift. That was nice seeing. Marcus and Steffi, obviously they're hardly ever in the country. So it's good being able to hang out with those guys. Oi, that time lapse is just a little bit better than mine. Oh no. Uh oh. Look at Nala watching the TV. Get it, Nala. <laughs> No. Love when it's like one in the morning and I'm about to get into bed and then realise that my braces, braces are downstairs. I love the fact that they're gradually making my teeth straighter. I just blimmin' take them out. I just take them out and leave them somewhere and forget. I never, 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 I